Hi, in my previous video I showed playing back music on the RC2014 on my AY sound card. Uh, in that video, um, my I was using some fairly crude uh, timing routines uh, to play back the, the music. So the routine was originally intended to run on the Spectrum computer, uh, where you've got a 50 hertz interrupt, um, which is synchronised with the uh, the video generation. On the RC2014, you've not got any kind of fixed, uh, any interrupt running on a fixed schedule, um, which means that it's quite difficult to do things like um, play music at an even tempo. Because uh, the 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 music playback routine doesn't actually take the same number of clock cycles per every kind of run. It depends on the complexity of the music. Um, so you might have noticed that the speed of the music playback was a bit uneven and off. Uh, so I've recently got interrupt-driven music playback working on the RC2014. Uh, so to generate interrupts, I'm using uh, the uh, Zilog Z80 CTC chip. Uh, so this is on Scott Baker's. This is Scott Baker's CTC um, board design. Uh, and basically, with that, uh, you can um, divide down the. Well, you can generate interrupts basically at fixed intervals. Um, so just to run around the. So so basically, my RC2014 now consists of the standard clock board, the standard Z80. Um, Scott Baker's 512k RAM ROM board, um, the SIO serial um, board. Um, I'm basically using that because it seems to work a bit better than the 6851. Uh, we've got the CTC to generate interrupts, um, my own kind of homebrew compact flash board. Um, which I kind of did like a couple of weeks before Spencer brought his PCB version out. So <laughs> if I'd waited on a bit longer, I could have got that. And then my AY sound card. Uh, so you'll notice here on the CTC board that we've got this wire. That's because to um, to divide the RC2014's clock down from 7.3, whatever it is, megahertz, down to 50 hertz, I have to use two two channels. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll show the code for that later. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll put the uh, RC2014 back together then. <laughs> Cool. So as promised, uh, I'm going to take a quick look at the uh, at the source code of the interrupt-driven playback routine. Um, so basically, it's uh, it's Sir Gay Bulber's PTX play uh, with some slight modifications. Um, so I assemble it to uh, 100 hex uh, origin. Uh, as we are now running this as a CPM program, um, we've got some CPM BIOS uh, text output routines. Um, We've got the interrupt routine, which is what's called every uh, 50, 50 hertz. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got the CTC setup. So basically, um, we have to set up both the zeroth and first channel of the CTC. Um, the zero channel um, divides the uh, RC2014's clock down to uh, 150 hertz. Um, and then we've got another the other channel uh, which counts down from three uh, from three to zero um, so basically and the output of the first channel is going into the second channel um, and once that's counted down from three it raises an interrupt and starts again so that results in a in an overall interrupt speed of uh, interrupt rate rather of 50 Hertz um, so yeah basically that's all there is to it. Um, so uh, my RC2014 is now running ROM WBW with Scott Baker's modifications um, and that runs the Z80 in interrupt mode 2 uh, which means there's like an interrupt vector table. Uh, so here we have to also insert an entry into the um, into the interrupt vector table. Um, yeah, so it was once I'd read the uh, the data sheets for the CTC, it was it was fairly straightforward to make the modifications. Uh, cool. So yeah, so let's give it a go. Uh, this time I've already uploaded the program to uh, the RC twenty fourteen uh, using uh, X modem. Um, so yeah, that was pretty straightforward. 
Uh, so here you see the startup screen of uh, ROM WBW. Um, if I change to the C drive, oops. Uh, yeah, here's some previous versions that I've uploaded, and in one is my version, my current version of the player. Uh, take a listen. Thanks.